everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with another video. Today I'm going to show you my entire clothes collection for my dolls. The last time I went through my doll's wardrobe was over a year ago now. There are a lot of items I don't have anymore and then obviously I've gained a lot more since then too. This time round I've made sure I'm as prepared as possible. I have all of my clothes out on my table in front of me. They are ordered by maker or seller or whatever. So I'll go through the piles one at a time and be sure to tell you everything I know about the item. Some things I didn't get myself, I got second hand, but I did a bit of detective work to try and find out exactly where they bought them from so I can still help you guys out. Everything I mention will be listed with links in the description below. To start off this video I want to show you my dolls and what they're wearing at the moment. I've mixed and matched their outfits to try and put them in something different with the exception of Lee because he doesn't have any clothes. I'll try my best to remember where I got everything from so that you guys know exactly where to look if you want something similar. I'll start off with Millie. I really love how this came together. It took me a while to dress her, I won't lie. I just like how all these different random elements come together. It's a bit mismatched, but I like it, so yeah. Now both the striped top and this long black coat I got second hand when I first got Claire. I wasn't able to find a tag on either of them. I would guess that they are from Endless BJD. This awesome Nightmare Before Christmas skirt that she is rocking was made by Morbinjo over on Etsy. Her tights, I'm pretty sure, were from Lux, and so were these boots. And last but not least is this pendant here. I got it in an outfit set recently from Murasaki.me. And you wouldn't know it, but she's wearing Dolphy Dream underwear from Vox. Next up, we have Lee. As you can tell, he doesn't have pants. Don't worry though, he's wearing underwear. They're actually shorts that were intended for a one third scale girl doll, but I reckon they are pretty cute boxes for him. The jersey is also intended for a girl doll. I bought it for my girls. It's called a boyfriend sweater from Cherry Dolls Boutique, but it's really big and baggy and it looks quite good on him. He does have a t-shirt on underneath, but that was a gift and I'm not sure who made it, but it's just a plain black t-shirt. Next we have Ava. Her clothing situation is a bit interesting since she is SD sized on her hips, but a very small MSD on the top. I tend to just put her in SD sized skirts. At the moment she's rocking a Dolphy Dream skirt. It actually came in the winter set that I got recently. It's a set from Volks and it looks really really cute on her. And this top that she's wearing is from Mabindo. It's a really cute hoodie, you can see the hood back here. And I just love the floral print on it. The necklace was a gift from my friend Jade and her boots are from Fatio. Underneath this hoodie she's wearing a little pink laced singlet top. It's really really sweet. It was made by her previous owner for me when I bought her, although they do have an Etsy store under the name Ray White Wolf. Underneath her skirt she is wearing a cute little pair of underwear and these are from 99 style. Last but definitely not least is B. She's wearing one of the Holden neck tops I got recently and it was made by Cool Cats Design. I put this little B charm on it because, well, her name is B. This skirt I actually made myself a while ago. Her underwear are Dolphy Dream. Her socks were made by Cherry Dolls Boutique and her shoes by Fatio. And I made this flower crown too. Her bracelet is actually a ring. It's one of those cool spring type rings. It's perfect as a bracelet for a doll. Alrighty, so now all that's left is to go through this mountain of clothes, so I'll just get on with it. Everything will be SD sized unless otherwise stated. I'll start off with this jersey here. It was one of the first items I purchased back when I got Claire. It has a really interesting print on it. I just love all the colours and other than that it's just a plain black sweater. This was made by 99 Valentine over on Etsy. I got it quite a while ago and from what I can tell their shop doesn't have things like this in it anymore. They now sell stuff like prints and pins and badges but I'm going to keep an eye on them anyway on the off chance they make something like this again. Next is this t-shirt. It's super cute. I love the pastel colours. I love the ice creams with the stars on them. They look really really cool. This was made by Deadlicious Design over on Etsy. Next is this amazing pastel bomber jacket. 
the details on this are spectacular. The cuffs are this really cool material that matches the top and the bottom here. It has a fully functional zip and then on the back, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an Adidas logo which just looks so, so cool. This was actually gifted to me by Here's Tomorrow. As far as I know, they're still setting up their Etsy store. It's there so you can follow it and I will link it below, but they don't have anything up yet. Next up, I have a few items from Kate A. She has a YouTube channel so you can check her out or you can find her as a railer over on Instagram. We did a swap a while back and she made some amazing things for me. So first of all is this rainbow infinity scarf. She hand knitted this. My most favorite thing of all that I got from her were these socks. Aren't they just the cutest, most amazing thing? She also made me this adorable beanie. Next is this hand knitted jumper. The details are spectacular. I am honestly in awe. And then lastly is this pair of jeans that she also handmade. Moving on, I have a couple of pink items. These were made by Ethadu Carter over on Etsy. I got them in a grab bag. The other items I got, I have actually passed on, but I still have these, which are really cool. Next, I have these two items from Unibia over on Etsy. I love the prints on both of these materials. When I checked the Etsy last night, they do seem to be taking a break over there at the moment, just with the fees having changed, but you can still find them over on dimensiondolls.com. I have a couple more of the halter neck tops from Hello Cool Cat. B's wearing the third. These are much the same. I haven't used them yet, hence why they're still on the packaging. But yeah. From BJD Kroby, I have these two skirts. They're actually a set that go together. So this one is a lovely layered skirt and then this is intended to go underneath it. I found this really, really handy and I've put it under a variety of different skirts just to add a bit of extra poof. I almost sold this at one point, but I'm so glad I didn't because it's amazing on B. From Lily's Land, I have these two items. This banana skirt is amazing. It's a bit too big for the Estes I have at the moment because it is meant for an Impel House Older doll. It's still really cool. It does work on my Estes, but it should be perfect on my Soul Doll Isabel that's coming in because as far as I know, she will be a little bit bigger. I got this too. It's also intended for slightly bigger dolls, but it looks super cute on the ones I have anyway. It's a really detailed sheer top. Just look at that amazing stitching, like seriously, it even is darted at the back. The buttons are little snaps and it even has them on the cuffs, you probably can't see, but take my word for it, it's really, really cool. Now this black dress was gifted to me by Jade and it's absolutely gorgeous. It was actually made by BJ Dream over on Facebook. It has beading on the front, which is just so, so cool, and it's laced up on the back with a ribbon. You might remember this from my recent Halloween swap. It's a really cool hood and it has a matching skirt. It has these gemstones on it, these chains. It's really something special. Also in that same swap, I got this bralette. It's off a doll at the moment, which confuses the hell out of me, but it does make a star type pattern when it's on the doll, which is super cool. The person I got it from does have an Instagram. I don't quite know how to say it because it is German, so please excuse my pronunciation, but I think it's something like Fraulenzetep, but probably got that wrong. I have a couple of little items from Endless BJD. There's this black long sleeve top, nice and plain. Everyone needs one of these in their wardrobe or something similar. And also from Endless BJD, I have this gray hoodie. It opens down the front with snaps, which is really, really handy and makes it easy to put on your doll. I have a couple of things from 99 Style. First, these socks. They're really cool because they're made of this awesome material that has kind of a ribbed texture on it almost. I don't know how else to describe it. The skirt is from there too and I know for a fact they still have this on their store so if you like it you can go and pick it up yourself. Same goes for these sneakers so if you like them you can get your own and I'm not too sure about these boots but they are from there too. While we're on shoes I'll show you some of the other pairs I have. There are these cuties from Fatio. They're Ava's shoes so they are MSD sized and they are super super cute. Then I have a couple of pairs of shoes from Lutz. These ones are the exact same as what Millie is wearing, except they are brown. And then these ones are just another pair of brown boots, which are awesome. I 
have a few pairs of shoes that used to be keychains. These ones were from Smiggle, which is a stationery store here in New Zealand. I think they're also in Australia and they do have an online store, but I'm not sure what the shipping situation's like. These were singular keychains and unfortunately they're all left feet. If you put them on your doll and looked at them like that, they would look a bit odd. From the top, they're not too bad and you can kind of work to bend them so they don't look too strange. They were just too adorable to not go for. I love these so much and I have a pair of blue ones as well. Lastly for the keychain shoes are these bunny slippers. They were a keychain from a dollar store. I just got two of the same, ripped off the keychain and now I have some cute pink bunny slippers. I'll show you the rest of the Vogue's winter set. Ava's wearing the skirt from it but it also came with this white singlet top. It has velcro at the back which makes it super easy to put on and off a doll. And the main part of that set is this awesome, amazing pink coat. It's super fluffy, really soft. It feels like it's stuffed, honestly. It is amazing. It has snaps down the front which are so cool. It's lined. It's awesome. <laughs> also from Vox, I have a few bra and underwear sets. I have two large sets and two medium sized sets. A large and medium in both the pink and the blue. Next up, I have a few clothes from Murasaki.me. I've opened a few things from them recently in my secondhand clothes hauls. So to start off with, there are a couple of the original Danny Chu Smart Doll tops, a long sleeve one and a short sleeve one. I also have a blue one with Mirai on it, which is adorable. And then there are some of the Murasaki.me hoodie tops, so they have her mascot on them. There's this one, which is adorable, and then this one as well. I recently found out that this one was done in collaboration with Puppy52, I think is their name. And then there's also this t-shirt with Murasaki.me's logo on there. Also from Murasaki.me were these two little sets, each with a singlet top and a skirt, and they are adorable. Then last, but definitely not least, is a bigger set. I'm not sure what to call it, but it has this really cool skirt, this super cute top, these socks, this bow, this collar, these underwear, and a cute little bow. And this is where the pendant that Millie's wearing came from. Next is one of my favourite stores ever. It's Morbinjo. This is their business card. They're over on Etsy and I have so many things from their store. First up, I'll show you the MSD items that are Ava's. There's this really amazing oil slit multi-chrome hoodie and it has these sparkles that are like stars on the inside, which I love. I also have this little t-shirt which has little pictures of Stitch on it and then on the back it's all shiny and just awesome. All of the other things I have are SD sized. I have a butt ton of leggings. There's these grey ones, these floral ones, these that are kind of see through and sheer but they've got little paint splatters on them. These which are made from the most cool shiny fabric. These ones which are like jeggings and then these ones which have love written on them. I have a couple of jerseys from them too. There's this one that has narwhals on it. This one which has pegasus horses on it. And then lastly this pink one. Alrighty, so I've saved the biggest pile to last. These are all from Cherry Dolls Boutique. Everything from their store is so detailed and I'm always tempted every time they update their store. I have one MSD item from them, which is this dress. It's really flowy at the back, which is awesome. And everything else is SD sized. Firstly, I have a couple of really cute underwear sets from them. There's this one that has a little crisscross at the top and then a white one with pink polka dots, which is a little bit plainer. They're really detailed. As as I said before, they each have little diamante things on them and lace all around and on them. They are amazing. Just like with Mabinjo, I have a few pairs of leggings because I'm a sucker for leggings. There's these grey ones which have a sparkle to them which is awesome. These with a geometric pattern. These that also have a geometric pattern but are just in a different colour scheme. And then lastly, these ones with butterflies on them. I have a few skirts too. Firstly, this one which was actually a gift which was super kind and generous of Nikki. I I have this pink one which is slightly sheer. It has lace around the top, little sparkles and a couple of ruffles at the bottom which is really cool. There's this cute little bunny one which Ava has worn quite a lot. And then this pink one with lots of frilly fluffy bits and it's actually part of a set. So this top goes with it and then there's this that goes on top of that. Moving on to the tops, I have this white one which has holes in the fabric and I really really like it for layering. B wore it for a little while and I had her with this underneath so you could see it through and it looked really cool. There's this lace top, this black t-shirt with stars, this long sleeve top with purple hearts on it, which is so cool. And then this grey top with a pastel popsicle. 
Moving on to the sweaters, there's this white one which has these cute little happy cactuses on it. It's so, so cute. This loose fitting top which was also a gift. The silver sparkly bat wing jumper. It's really loose fitting and it is so, so sparkly. And another of the boyfriend sweaters. It's actually the same pattern as the one Lee's wearing at the moment except this one is navy and it has little bits of silver flicked through. That's it for Cherry Dolls Boutique, but I also have this little sports bra set that came with my smart doll, and then another skirt that I actually made myself. I still have a few things left, but the stuff I have yet to show you, I'm not actually sure exactly where it's from. I'll show you anyway because they are kind of cool, but I'm sorry that I can't really point you in the right direction if you want any of these things for yourself. To start off with, there's this black singlet top. I got it when I first got Claire from the person who sold her to me. I'm assuming it's either from BJD Kroby 99 style or Lutz because everything else I got from them seemed to be from there, but it doesn't have a tag on it and I couldn't find a listing that matched. Similarly, there's also these two pairs of socks. These ones are a nice stretchy material and they have pink at the top, whereas these are cotton with lace. Same as the singlet top, at a guess I would say Lutz or Kroby doll or 99 style but I really don't know for sure. I have these polka dot socks. I got them second hand off of Trade Me in a random haul. They're handmade but I don't know by who. I have this pink keyhole sweater. It's really really cool. It was a gift though so I'm not sure who made it. Also a gift was this white button up shirt. It has really cool cuffs and a collar but I have no idea who made it. And then last of all I have this bunny ear black jacket. I got it second hand off someone on Facebook. They couldn't tell me where they got it from. They'd long forgotten. It's just going to be forever a mystery. It is really cool though. That is it. I've gone through all of my BJD clothes. It took a lot longer than I thought. I really underestimated how many clothes I had. So if you've stuck through till now, thank you so much. Before I go though, I have an update for my giveaway. So in case you missed it, I'm hosting a giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers here on YouTube. And I'm going to be giving away a tiny little doll. She's actually sitting right there if you can spot her. And I want you guys to help me customize her. So in last week's video, I presented you all with a variety of colors colors and I asked you to vote on the one you liked best. And the color combination that came out on top was number three. Thank you so much to everyone that voted. It was actually insanely close. So the next thing I want you guys to help me decide is should I go with a dark black vibe with this or should I go with a more light white vibe? Literally black or white. Bear in mind that the doll does have white skin so it's unavoidable that there will be white in there but I'm more meaning the overall theme for the doll so if you would like it to have a darker vibe please comment that down below or if you would prefer for it to be more light and white then comment that down below and I'll collate the responses at the end of the week and give you something else to choose from next time. And with that we're at the end of this video. Finally it's been a long one. Thank you so much to anyone who has stuck through with me. It has been lovely and I will catch Catch you in another video sometime soon. I'm not done, I'm waiting for the bells. I know, someone's gonna fucking ham. Can they stop? Like, I'm almost done. I know, right? <laughs> Stopped.